Okay, I haven't posted videos in a while because I've been transferring all my equipment into my shop. This is Appliance Wizard. This is the appliance business I own. It's on a pretty busy street, a decent street here. But one thing I want to show you is I see a lot of people complaining about winter down in the States. Check this out. This isn't normal for us even though it's in Canada, but this is crazy. We got more snow this year than any year ever. Look at the snow banks. I'm gonna go walk right up and you can see it's like double my height. Check this out. Just look at that. Here's about where my height is. Here's the ground. That is one big ass mountain of snow. It's crazy. Anyway, just wanted to show you that because you guys really have no idea what a hardcore winter's like until you've been down here. So I'm going to show you in my shop right now, actually, so let's walk inside. Alright, so it's in disarray right now. The whole shop's being redone, so it's going to be pretty messy. So, we walk in, and I've set up everything right in the open where customers can see. I got all the equipment set up. I built these boards to set up everything. I got all kinds of appliance parts in here. It's just incredible the access to parts I have now compared to before. Out of my house sucked, but here I have so many parts. It's so messy in here. Holy jeez. But I'll show you a back little storage room where I've just got components all over the place of everything you could think of. Just strip all kinds of parts out of appliances and keep everything. It's just crazy. Got all the motors here. You got tons and tons and tons of transmissions and all kinds of electronic parts. But anyway, that's where I am now. And now I'll show you what my new projects are that I'm working on with HHO. Okay. So this is the new HHO Ball Labs here. And this is what I'm working with right now. I got 31 plate diamond cell. I think you guys have seen that before. I got the mini dry cell. And both of these cells now are being fed by the same reservoir. This reservoir feeds one cell, gas comes back in that hose, and then this one feeds this cell gas comes back in that hose and I'll show you I, it's inside there so I can't unscrew it now but inside there is the VSPB cell which is an exact duplicate of zeros so I've got dry cell dry cell and a wet cell inside the reservoir I haven't seen anybody try that yet and uh, it's working out pretty good actually I gotta get rid of all these battery charges and build a rectified circuit I just only do one thing at a time unfortunately and I got one other cell here just a 13 plate electrolyzer I'm going to be using this for some controlled explosion experiments um, and that's it so I'll show you some of the new stuff uh, right now so here's some pictures of the VSPB cell that's inside the reservoir just so you know what I was talking about what's actually submerged in the water uh, you can see how to build this on zero fossil fuels channel he has videos going step by step showing how to build that it's a great cell because it fits perfect into a four inch pvc pipe because um, the top of my reservoir is four inch and then it flanges out to a six inch and it looks a little stained up because it had been an electrolyte for so long here but i cleaned it up before i put it in the new reservoir but that's what provides about 1.5 liters a minute so now i'll really be able to get into all kinds of fun ideas Got this I got this gas valve that I'm going to be putting HHO through here. Electric gas valves open. There's the orifice right here. I stripped off the the spout that's usually there for natural gas, and now we're going to try it with HHO. I've also got these burners that I stripped out. This is the orifice here, and there's the pipe with the fitting. This usually works for natural gas, and. And this top piece fits on top of that orifice and that 
uh, diffuses the gas out and there's a spark igniter right here so we're gonna see what's gonna happen with that I'd have to close this off I couldn't have those arrow holes like that but anyway lots of fun little stuff I've got all kinds of little heating duct experiments to add heat to your heat uh, to your forced air furnaces I've got all kinds of experiments that I'll be showing so anyway we'll be seeing you very soon